And what about, uh, you and I talked when, when we met earlier about um, the companies that you usually work with on a regular basis to help them hire. Um, have they cut back as well? Yes, yeah, some uh, a couple of the local companies that normally uh, come in either once a month or uh, once a week have suspended their uh, operation um, or they're they're coming in and interviewing, um, pending the outcome of what the what the economy does. But uh, what we're finding is that the people are staying put. They're not job hopping because there's not a lot out there. How does our un unemployment rate compare? to other cities and counties um, and then of course the nation. Right now the uh, for December the uh, seasonally adjusted unemployment rate in uh, in the state of Georgia was 8.1 uh, percent which is the highest been in highest it's been in 26 years. Mm -hmm. However uh, Gainesville is actually fair and better it's down around 5.2 percent which is below the national average and Hall County is at 7%, which is running right even with the national average. And when we say, I know people are used to hearing unemployment rate and those percentages, but um, bring that home to us and tell us what that really means for the number of jobs that are available here. For Hall County, the 7% 7, uh, 7 unemployment rate means that there's 65, a little over 6,500 people that is unemployed. For Gainesville, at the 5.8%, uh, it's 918 out of a labor market force of 15,947 for Gainesville. So the number sounds, the 5.8% uh, sounds bad, but out of the 15,000, it's only 918 that are unemployed. So the jobs are still there, and people are going back to work. The average um, unemployment uh, length of time for Gainesville Hall County is 11.1 .1 weeks of being unemployed. And I, when you and I talked earlier, you told me that was a record. In that the was nation. a record, yes, that was a record for the state of Georgia actually for quite some okay. time. That was the highest in the nation and it, and it was right at 11, 11.1 11 .1 weeks. You talk about all these people now who are on un unemployment, you talk about the amount of money that they can receive. Is there any chance of the amount of money that's available for unemployment running out? Our trust fund is doing um, quite well due to the initiatives of the Commissioner of Labor uh, through the years that he's been in office. Uh, he's built the trust fund up, so the, the trust fund uh, is safe and secure for the time being. There is a federal extension in place uh, for individuals that do exhaust their unemployment. Uh, in the, the state unemployment, they revert over to the federal extension, and that's additional uh, monies that they can claim each week. What about people who are sitting at home, can't find a job, don't just want to collect their unemployment? Certainly I would think this would be a good time to consider some additional education. Yes, and um, associated with the Georgia Department of Labor is what we call our WIA office, which is the uh, acronym for the Workforce Investment Area. They are located here in Gainesville. There is a representative that's in our office three days per week. Uh, in certain situations, they may assist you, uh, may assist a customer with uh, assisting and uh, paying for uh, re-education. Shelly, um, we hear so many times, and you talk about all the different types of manufacturing jobs that are out there and how diverse our, our economy and our employment is here in Gainesville, Hall County area. Why is that important during a recession? Well, absolutely. The different uh, types of companies go up and down cyclically across the board always. In a recession, uh, each different type of company will have a different cycle. Um, and in addition to what Mark was talking about as far as uh, opportunities for education, uh, there's a new program out, well it's somewhat new, uh, Georgia Work Ready program where in addition to getting more education to uh, increase your chances of getting a new job, you can also get certified as being work ready and that's through Lanier Technical College which is just a, at the back door of the Department of Labor here in Gainesville. So certainly some opportunities. It also makes me think about the incubator program. I know you're both uh, uh, aware of that. Um, this could certainly be a time of opportunity for some people who, who might not usually have time to think about what they'd like to do with the rest of their lives. And unfortunately, this is a, a time that might open up for that. Shelley, what else is the chamber doing to assist? Certainly, you have hundreds and hundreds of members and uh, business and industry that you work with all the time. What else are you doing to assist them during this time? Well, we have over two members and I will tell you that we have always served our members and supported them as far as networking and 
maintaining connection. That it becomes even more important during this time, and you can tell by attending any of our events as a business person uh, that the uh, it's an extremity of attendance um, and seeking out further education opportunities. Not only as an employee, but also as a business owner, uh, increasing your safety at your location, and we offer opportunities for that. Increasing your uh, financial perspective as far as a business owner goes, and we offer those kind of opportunities. So education for the business owner as well. Uh, also, of course, we have our Drugs Don't Work program, which is a state program we facilitate, helps reduce their workers' comp insurance rates. So we're, we're trying to help people reduce the amount to their bottom line and therefore uh, keep them in business, keep them going, keep our employment raising. This is, a, this, like I said, a good time to kind of reevaluate maybe how you've been doing business all these years. Absolutely. And, and there's reevaluation going on at every level, whether it's at our own homes, uh, and the small business, large business, local governments, and federal governments. And that is an excellent time um, for reevaluation. Re Mark, I know that when I think about um, any, of the, any of the government offices that I'm going to go to, whether it's Social Security or the Department of Labor or the Career Center, I usually want to, I usually ask a friend, when is the best time to go? So let me ask you that. You're the man. When is the best time for me to uh, come to the Career Center? M the first part of the week normally predominantly is our busiest. We do open at 7.30 a.m. and close at 5. We do ask for individuals to try to get there by 3.30 in the afternoon to get the business accomplished. So to answer your question, first thing in the morning, 7.30 is the best time or later on in the week. Friday afternoons are always a push. Um, but to get the better service, middle of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, first thing in the morning. Your best advice to someone who's looking for a job right now? Have hope. The jobs are there. The economy will turn around. It did turn around years ago, and this is no different. Shelley, uh, advice from the chamber? Uh, remain active, remain connected, and uh, keep pushing forward. I'd like to thank both of you for joining thank me today. Thank you very much. Thank you.